tonight, an awful case of a dog mauling in Atlanta. Good evening. I'm Tiffany Kenny. I'm Todd McDermott. Thanks for joining us here at five. A man was badly injured in a relentless attack by two pit bulls, even as two people tried to stop those dogs. Erin Guy talked with the men who saved the victim's life. She is live in that Lantana neighborhood. Erin. Todd and Tiffany, this is a horrific story. I can tell you, I just got an update. He's in serious condition after being rushed into surgery. Let me set the scene for you here in this neighborhood. The victim actually pulled up in this car, it's still right here, to check on this house that's for sale. Well, next door to the house, that's where two pit bulls live. They somehow got out and attacked this man. And I must warn you, some of the pictures you're about to see are very graphic. There's a sign in the window. All of a sudden, I hear some screaming. Like, hey, hey. And neighbors knew they lived next door. It was very traumatic um, to see something um, so vicious happen. But no one expected this. Leo Markarian on the ground with these two dogs on top of him. He just still had, had the guy around the neck. Mm -hmm. that I've only seen a National Geographic explorer. A lion to a gazelle or something. I mean, right there. Suffocation, the jugular or whatever. Wow. David Finch threw nunchucks at the dog, but it didn't phase them. Another neighbor, too upset to show his face, tried everything to free this man. He realized he couldn't use his car to scare them off, so he reached for this. The shoe was first, and that didn't do anything. And when that didn't work, he grabbed a shovel. With the first hit, I hit him. Saw the face, and he uh, looked up and approached me, and I backed up a little bit, and he attacked the victim again. Then the second hit, I hit him again. He uh, ran off. At that point, the dog's owner had driven up and called the dogs off, but according to Fitch, they came back for more. This time, Rip going for his stomach area and his arm again. Eventually, they were locked up. Animal Care and Control identified the dog's owner as Antonio Maldonado. We knocked on his door, but no answer. When paramedics arrived, the neighbors watched on, thinking the worst. Another five minutes, and he would have lost his arm. If someone's life is on the line, I mean, you want to do what you can do to save their life. Well, I can report the two dogs have been euthanized. I have knocked on the door of the dog's owner all day long, have yet to hear from that person. As far as will this person be in trouble, I talked to Animal Care and Control, and he says it's still under investigation. If anything, they might face some citations. Now, coming up all new at 6 o'clock, why Animal Care and Control knew about these two dogs, you're going to hear about that coming up. We're live in Lantana, Aaron Guy, WPBF 25 News.